How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Marie KCTV, and today we're watching the second episode of Legend of Korra. We're watching A Leaf in the Wind. So the last episode, we had her tear up through the city, just do the most unruly shit possible. And uh, she finally kind of calmed down because she got arrested. And uh, Tenzin somewhat took the fall for it. Not really. She does have connections throughout the city because of his political status within the city. The status that also he had because of Aang. Um, so he he's at least, he's got some tricks up his sleeve to kind of get her out of trouble. Uh, and he did, but then he also was going to send her away. Korra wasn't supposed to leave. Well, she did. Now she's here and he changed his mind and decided, you know what? We're going to teach you airbending now because you need to, you need to learn. Now we're here. Now uh, we, we're going to get the training arc. We got a little bit of work to do because she uh, she can do everything else pretty well. She's got the three of the four. Uh, so airbending is the last one. And now it's going to be her getting a grasp of airbending and fully becoming like the Avatar. And not only that, but also engrossing herself in Republic City, um, a city that I can imagine is going to be very important later on for her as an avatar anyway, uh, because of the fact that we already know that Aang created the city, and then Tenzin took it up and kind of has tried to keep it in line and, and with peace and balance, that idea that Aang hold, uh, held on to when creating it. So now we're going to see, you know, how she's going to fill those shoes. Appa! And yep, yep, baby! <laughs> one with a decisive knockout. What? What do you say we go to the arena tonight? Catch a few pro Oh, bending. pro bending. That's right, I do know about that. Of the noble tradition of bending. Come on, Tyson. Oh, wow, look at they got the monks again. Since I was a kid, and Everything's coming back for the airbenders. Oh, uh, the White Lotus sentries. White Lotus really grew too, huh? Damn. Free from any distractions. All right, you're the master. To be fair, Tenzin is right. She should be focusing on getting, you know, her body and mind prepared for, for airbending and get that. Oh, I just, the Momo. I don't think it's Momo, but. Oh, she can't do it? She can't even remotely do airbending? Because <laughs> that's the thing. They said earlier in the last episode, like, she isn't like spiritual so that's a big thing with the monks and, and the airbenders that they're they're very spiritual and very like in tune with their with their bodies explain this exercise oh he's just gonna blow everything up it's just gonna <laughs> yeah fuck that no way i'm good the key oh. is to be like the leaf you just let your body flow with everything this is nuts holy shit the way this looks is crazy Oh damn, this is sweet. Oh that was that was quick. She did that so easily. Let's do this. Oh yeah, she's trying to brute force it. Oh Yep, get her ass beat. You did did not listen to a single thing they said. You gotta flow, bro. you yeah, she's she's trying to force it. <laughs> Be the leaf. Bro, imagine getting knocked out by some wood. That's crazy. She just really got knocked right out. Uh, she's doing a firebending stance, though. Isn't that firebending? Airbend. You're too rigid. You're too... Yeah, see? You're firebending. She's too, uh, she's too hot-headed about it. Oh, my God. She's going to go bending. Uh, to the pro bending arena. Oh, they're they're all on the edge of their seats. The fire ferrets. Cora, come down here, please. <laughs> You're like, how do you know? Uh, <laughs> technically, they they didn't know I was listening. Anything about listening to one. You. Damn. Tenzin Tenzin keeps getting fucked on technicalities. <laughs> Oh, Tenzin, I feel bad. Dealing with Korra doesn't sound like a fun time. She's so... <laughs> she's so erratic. Yeah, this is... Again, she can't... She can't do it. She can't be spiritual and relax for two seconds. 
listen to the radio? Oh, at least he has the relaxing part down. <laughs> None of this airbending stuff. No idea how to meditate. I know She's got mind. no idea to just like turn off. Then one day and let it let it let it do its thing. ADHD Cora. Yeah, it's not sinking in yet. Bro, and that shit was even was even two seconds. The meditations. Of course she's leaving. Damn, she really just caught herself. How fast can she swim as a waterbender? Of course she's gonna go to the arena. Look at this this casino fucking heaven ass place. She's just gonna like waterbend herself up there. That's cool. How did she dry herself? What? <laughs> That was, she's not an airbender. She can't do that. I, how ripped is she? Let's see her. Let's see her lift some stuff. Uh, I was just looking for a bathroom and I got lost. I've been looking everywhere. <laughs> it's Oza. She's Oza. Oza. Yeah, I'm with him. So you see, we're together. Well, not together, together. More like friends. Uh, <laughs> body. Okay. <laughs> it's like, nope, nope, don't. We're not we're cutting that shit out real quick. This way, miss. It's in the house, huh? Oh, is this just the bullpen? Oh, damn. Okay. This place is even more amazing than I imagined. Name's Bolin, by the way. Bolin. Yo, he'd be balling right now, bro. Let's go. We spin some game. Oh, Mako's the guy that over the radio they're talking to. But man, I got a good feeling. There's something special about her. I know it. Yeah, I can feel the bending in her. Could meet him later. He's he's in serious mode. Come on. Yeah, duh. I mean, what? It sounds like they're good. So I mean, obviously. In this corner, we have the fire ferrets. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, people love Bolin. Holy shit! Who is? Somebody show me that girl screaming. Show me. So is everything kind of balanced? Do we have like a firebender, a waterbender, and an earthbender? Ooh. The tiger Tigerdillos. Huh. Pool under fire. So firebender, one is a waterbender. That's cool. Damn. Oh. Get knocked back. So that's how it works. They get moved forward and back. So then can they push these people out? That's nuts. So people can just... Oh, he's dead. And that's over. Ooh, the Fabulous Bending Brothers. Oh, jeez, they got knocked all the way back. Oh, so once you get to the... Uh, once you get to that last zone, you're out. Immediately getting knocked out. Yeah. Oh, they got one. Get pushed back. Dude... This is cool. I like pro bending. The way they move is really cool. Yo, I could I could probably watch pro bending all day. Just give me a pro bending show. Ooh. Uh oh. Get move, move. Ooh. They got knocked all the way off. I thought I thought it got I thought it was done once you got to the last zone. Damn. I guess different rules maybe. Ooh. Mako, let's go. Mako's fucking... What a champion of a firebender. Let's go. Damn, he fucking soloed him 1v3. <laughs> let's go. Wow. What a winner. Literally, what a fucking dub. This is why he was serious. This is why he wasn't talking to anybody before, because he's locked in. Bolin, you got knocked, you got knocked the fuck out. You did more harm than good out there. You almost cost us the match. We won, didn't we? Yeah, now nah, get off yeah. the case, pal. Ugh. Damn. You Good. Incredible out there. I was talking like he was a uh hat trick. Like an apex match. Just ignore him. Yeah. I'll fight you right now. Oh, I don't know. I don't need basics. My earth bending would translate to your water Oh, don't worry about it. Won't be a problem. I'm actually an earth bender. Uh, I'm sorry. No, no. I didn't mean to. <laughs> He's like, I. Okay, no, my bad. You got the, you got the thing. I figured. Mm -hmm. uh, like, wait. Huh? You're the 
avatar and I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> He's like, holy shit. How did I get her? How did I find her? Let's see what you got. That's cool. This is gonna be she can get her ass beat here too. This is like boxing training. Nice. Nice. Okay, cool. Let me try it again. She's she's doing the wrong uh what do you call that? Oh damn, she's doing the wrong training, but yeah. Hey, who cares? It's cool. Upstairs. We live here. Yes. In the attic. It's nothing fancy. That is a great view, probably. I mean, like you're on the water, you got the city there, you got the island on the other side. They're out here, uh the Oh, she's tired. She's gonna force it again. Stop forcing it. Listen to listen to Tenzin. Oh my god. Dude. Avatar, Korra. Full of anger. Just destroys shit. Well yeah, cause she you're not patient, bro. Like, you need to you need to calm down and relax. But you know what I think? Maybe the problem isn't me. Yeah, you're a trauma teacher, Daddy. That's why all three of them can do it. And she can't. <laughs> Oh my god, the fucking kid. Kid's a menace. I don't know how to get through her. The best thing you can do right now. How is she gonna learn water? Uh air bending. You must like, promise me that your teenage years won't be uh, like this. <laughs> I will make no such promises. <laughs> She's like, I can't do I can't do that. I'll try my best, I guess. You're disqualified. No, oh, you're disqualified. Hey, yo. And the winnings. Wait, can't you oh. use one of those guys to fill in? Nah, the rules say you can only compete on one team. Well, damn. How about me? I'm I'll do a top-notch waterbender, if I do say so myself. But you're the avatar. Isn't that cheating? <laughs> well, there's no rules for it yet. Yeah, we have an earthbender and a firebender. Uh, we are? Yes. Yeah, bro, she, she said, fuck you guys, we're doing this. This girl is crazy. Well, you might win, so it's okay. Yeah, she can only, they can only do one. <laughs> Don't get knocked out. That's it. She's gonna immediately try and swipe them all out, knowing Korra. Yep. It's against the rules. Oh. Yeah, you can't, okay. She doesn't know the rules. She just doesn't know the rules. Let's just don't do anything. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Oh man, she just doesn't know the rules. So they're all targeting her. Yeah. She needs to be patient. Ooh. 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 Ah. Uh, Penalty, you're the avatar. Uh, this idiot. Oh my god, she's so impatient. Bro, he's gonna fly over there so fast. <laughs> that he, oh, he's fucking livid. <laughs> They're like, what the fuck? Bro, you are beating her ass, okay? Oh my god, please. Honey. Stay on your feet. Oh, she is she out? <laughs> and she's in the aqua. Oh, yo, Tenzin. Oh, he's gonna step on her hands. Once again, you have flagrantly disobeyed my orders. So I can around and meditate about how bad I am at airbending? But that's why though. That's why you're bad at air air airbending. You're not trying. Because maybe I don't even You took the other time we literally saw her meditate for like not even a second. The avatar like two seconds. It is not optional. The avatar this isn't a mod this is technically just you know, theatrics. I have a this isn't real fighting. You're not really you know <laughs> But I guess, I guess, I get it, I guess. This is it best of five now? Oh, it's best of three and overall. Oh, yeah, that they're, they're trying to just block her out. Oh, is he going to sit and watch? Ooh. Ooh, see, she's doing the thing. She's doing the thing. 
Oh, oh. Ooh. How about that? <laughs> He's like, wait a minute. <laughs> this, I can't believe it. Hit him with everything you got, boys. Yo, I can't believe that worked. Yeah, I don't remember any of this. Wow. Get knocked out, bitch. Do they get to advance a little bit now? Ooh. Doo -doo. Combo. Combo. Bop, bop, bop. <laughs> Tenzin. Woo! That was so, like... That was like a homer. <laughs> it's two and two, though. How does that... How does that work? Oh, let's go. He's getting some praise. He's giving her some praise. All right. <laughs> she's she's going to go back. I'm sorry. Can we fix the... Oh, they fixed it. Interesting. Of course not. I agree with him, but also partially not because, like, she's not doing airbending stuff to learn how to be an airbender. Everybody learns in different ways, though. So that that is... That is important to see. <laughs> She's like, okay, well, now I can't say no. <laughs> so what's Mako's deal? He's like, ah, uh, the airbending temple. They're just like, hyped. Nice, hell yeah. Leave it to sports to bring everybody together. I mean, like, obviously, you know, the pro bending scene is something that's really cool, really interesting, and, and obviously for Gora, really fun. Something that she hasn't experienced yet. Um, and new is always fun. Obviously, she's tried air bending before. She's already hit the wall with it. You know, she is, she is a car on a concrete wall, hitting the gas and going nowhere. I mean, that got her out of it. You know, air bending is. This very fluid motion, you know, it, it is a very peaceful, calm, patient, you know, bending style. So for her to do this now makes a lot more sense for her to learn how to do it through dodging and bobbing and weaving through all these different attacks from also all different types of bending. It's important for her to learn how to use it with different types of bending styles anyway. So for her to be able to fight back and manage attacks from earth bending, water bending, you know, fire bending, and then like slowly incorporate things that she's supposed to be learning into it works out because she she is doing it now and getting used to the movement. She also is an aggressive bender. Um, she isn't patient. She isn't meticulous with what she does. As we saw in this episode, she just forces her way through things. Um, and I don't know necessarily how smart Cora is, but it doesn't feel like she's that smart. Cause obviously, I mean, she is young still, but she, you know, disobeying rules, doing kind of whatever she wants uh, without the idea of the consequences for it. But also again, kind of this assumption that she can do whatever she wants because she's the avatar, but she's very hot headed. You know, she, she is not thinking as much as trying to get through um, whatever obstacles in her way and that's why you know with the pro bending she you can't just force your way through that because you also have to move with the attacks and dodge and bob and weave uh, and you bob and weave and weave and bob it <laughs> so that's why you know it's good that this is kind of forcing her to do that um, and forcing her to learn how to dodge and move very fluidly because it's going to be important overall uh, as the avatar. So it's kind of dumb because, you know, Tenzin, I agree with Tenzin that she should learn, the, you know, meditation and learn all these other things uh, because patience and meditation is important when it comes to the spiritual side of, you know, the avatar and overall, obviously, an airbender. But uh, her learning in a different way is good considering the times are also changing. Uh, so, you know, things change as times change, but also, like I said, everybody learns in a different way. So you never know really how uh, somebody's going to react to one thing versus another. Well, obviously, we know with Korra that she kind of works in her own little way. So people kind of have to adjust to her a little bit. Even we saw it in the first episode when she was doing her fire firebending trial. Um, you could tell that everybody around her kind of just like 
treats her a little differently, not because she's the Avatar, but because she also has this kind of like brute force, like hot-headed, like superiority complex to her. Um, not necessarily like that she thinks she's superior, but she definitely bathes in the air of being the Avatar. Um, but I'm very excited to see more pro bending because I, like I said, I could literally watch pro bending. Like they could make a show, like a 12 episode show, just that, and I'd be like all in. Um, like how people like Q. You know, I've never watched it. I actually like volleyball, but I've never watched Q. Um, but that's what I feel like that would be like a whole season of just like pro bending. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way you are notified every time I post a Legend of Horror video. And I will hopefully see you guys there. Peace.